So if you have a water system, one of the things that you're going to have to worry about is freeze. Yeah, contrary to popular belief, it does get cold here in the Austin area. And it will freeze and bust your pipes and bust your pumps up. And you got to get prepared for it or it'll get you. First thing you need to do is take care of any outdoor pipes. You can see here we have two pipes coming into this building. What we've done is we've put pipe insulation around them and then we wrapped them with this two inch pipe wrap tape. It's, it's an electrical tape, it's waterproof, it's UV resistant so it doesn't break down. A lot of people like to use duct tape and it works for a couple of years but the sun will break it down, it'll go away. If you don't get it waterproof, you will freeze up. It happens all the time. So take care of those outdoor pipes, get them sealed up as best you can leave a little water trickling in them. So when you leave a little water trickling, you know, the weatherman, he tells you to leave some faucets dripping. Well, that's for the people that live in the city that have city water. If you're on a well, you don't leave your faucets dripping, you leave them trickling. You try to get at least a gallon a minute running through those faucets. What you do is you go to several faucets in your house and you add it all up and you try to get, take a picture with you and see if you can time it and try to get at least a gallon a minute running so that pump is kicking on every 20, 25 minutes, bringing warm 68 degree water out of the well. But if you have a storage tank system, you gotta get a little bit more serious about your freeze protection. I've seen two inches of ice inside of these tanks. That water inside of there is 32 degrees. It's ready to freeze. So you have gotta get a little bit more serious. If you leave your faucets just trickling and you're bringing cold, cold 32 degree water into your pump house, it's gonna bust your booster pump up. I've seen it happen over and over again. You're out of water, I'm out of booster pumps, and there's nothing I can do for you until I get some new equipment in. So make sure you get serious about it. So if you really wanna get serious about protecting your pump system against a freeze, the most important thing is a pump house. We've got a nice pump house here, and it's got three key important things that you need to have in order to protect it. The first is insulation. Pretty simple insulation, makes it, makes it hard to freeze inside here. The second is a heat source. I like to use a space heater. Some people like heat lamps, but let me tell you what, a heat lamp is a light bulb. You don't know when it's gonna go out. It can go out at any time. Get you a cheap space heater, put it in your pump house, produces a lot more heat than a light bulb, and it doesn't go out on you with no warning. Now there is a possible fire danger. You don't wanna have this thing around anything that can burn. They can sit in the pump house for years, build up a lot of dust in there, so what I like to do is I like to hang mine from the ceiling. Don't get it down close to the pipes. They can get hot, they can melt the pipes. Maybe you're out of town a lot and you're worried about who's gonna go turn it on because you never know when it's gonna get cold. Let me tell you about a device called a thermocube. What you do is you plug this into your outlet, you plug your heater into it, it automatically turns the heater on when it gets down to 35 degrees. When it gets up to 38, it cuts it off. So it just lets that run just enough to keep it from freezing in there. The third thing that you need to do is to keep your water system running. With a storage tank system, you have got to keep some water running or it's gonna freeze. Two gallons a minute, three gallons a minute. If you don't wanna waste the water, which I completely understand, we need all need to be conserving water, you can get a water hose from your house. Run it up, get your ladder, go to the top of the storage tank and just dump the water back into the storage tank and just circulate it all night. Yeah, it's gonna use a few dollars in electricity, but at least you won't have to pay me to come out and work on your system tomorrow. So, so if you have a booster pump and it's outside, you don't have the benefit of a nice pump house, you need to get real serious about your freeze protection. But there's some things that people do that make mistakes. You need to know about them. This is an air-cooled motor. It sucks air in one end and pushes it out the other. That keeps it cool. The most common thing that people do wrong is that they insulate the motor, which is this end here, the cylinder-shaped part. If you insulate that motor, you just better get your checkbook out and get it ready to buy a new pump. It's gonna burn it up, two, three months at the most. Every spring, I sell about four or five booster pumps to people that have insulated it. This is the part you need to freeze protect. And it's hard to do because you've got parts to it that you can't get to because you got a shaft in there. A heat source on this would be really good or leave a bunch of water running. And if you're out in the cold and it's wind blowing 20 miles an hour and it's below 20 degrees, you better leave a lot of water running. Five, six, seven gallons a minute. Run that water hose up into the top of that storage tank so it can sit there and circulate. This is the relief valve right here. If the water system freezes, it's designed to dump water out of the system. 
but if it's frozen, it won't do any good. Now you can see inside this pump house, we haven't bothered to insulate it. There's not any need. We've got a nice pump house with insulation, heat source. Um, we don't have to worry about it. But if you don't have that, if you're out in the out in the elements, you've got to insulate this whole system as best you can. Put a heat source on it and leave water running and hope you don't freeze up. That's the best way to insulate, freeze protect, give a heat source for your water system so that you don't have to worry about damaging your system due to a simple freeze.